All right, first things first, for the 70 people that decide to come through and subscribe to this channel off of the Ruby meme, number one, thank you God. Number two, thank you for subscribing. And number three, hopefully you enjoy your stay. But with all that out the way, I'm just gonna quickly talk about the Genshin community because they're on some weird demon time, honestly. So there's two things, right? One is the fact that people, I guess, can't have Arlequino as a maid, honestly, which is like, why? Like. She, she doesn't exist, so to be perfectly honest, I don't give a damn if she's wearing a suit, a bikini, or nothing at all in front of me. I will take whatever the hell I can get when it comes down to it. At the end of the day, it's just our interpretation of what we think, you know, different characters are. I mean, if they're going to be in the public, most likely someone's going to take that character, do whatever they're going to do with it, and then just kind of be like, this is what I think of that character. Do you have to accept that? No. But at the same time, she just docks, harass, or try to get on someone's ass for that type of thing? No. So if I want to see, you know, Arlequino in a McDonald's outfit with fat ass knockers, then I want to see that shit. I don't know why, but I would like to see that shit. So that's number damn one. And number damn two, how is y'all going to get mad at Nike? Like, I'll be completely honest with you. I have not really played any gacha game outside of you know, Genshin. But when it comes down to it, I at least can acknowledge that, yo, there is some good ass games that's out there, like Nike, for the people that just like shooters, or Wandering Waves, which people have been talking a lot about, which I probably won't hop on until it gets dropped on console, because <laughs> I need my phone storage, but that's just here and there. Then also at the same time, people keep talking about other gacha games as well. And it's like, dude, you gotta realize, Yes, this gacha game is very good, and when it comes down to it, Genshin has done very well for its thing, right? That being said, it ain't the only one on the block. Just because Genshin is your first gacha experience doesn't mean that every gacha has to be like Genshin, honestly, right? If, for whatever reason, they decided to make a character in Genshin to be a bit more sexy than normal characters, then they have the right to do that. At the end of the day, they are a company. They will do what they want to do. The only reason why they probably won't do it is because China. Literally. So when it comes down to it, you know, that's probably the only reason why they won't ever really do it. But they definitely could if they really just relocated somewhere and they wanted to. Then I kind of, you know, feel bad for my boy Shirokami, honestly, because... Again, that man did nothing wrong, just wanted to make some characters bounce. But when it comes down to it though, you know, when it comes to Nike, that's their whole point. They're trying to get you to pull these characters because look at how jiggly they are. That's the whole damn point. That's why Stella Blade was literally, you know, made by the same studio. Literally. They are made by the same studio. So of course they're going to have this type of stuff going for them, right? And the fact that you get mad at it because it's not your Genshin experience. Dude, you do not real do you not know what Rule 34 is? Do you not know how many times I've seen different characters from Genshin get tossed on there? Whether it's actual art or AI, does it necessarily matter? Dude, you have been you have got to be absolutely blind, right? The only this is literally the whole phrase of you're only seeing what you wanna see. Because that's what really this shit kind of is, if I'm being honest. The only time where people don't complain about this shit is either if the character is with another female character and they're being gay because nothing wrong can happen when you're gay for some reason. And then two is only when something feels a bit canon, which not everything needs to be canon. Do you not see what Hoyo Fair is? Do you not see the cool and great animations that come off of that shit? I, I don't I don't think that you know canon to Hoyoverse really means a lot a lot of things when it comes to fan works and things of the sort. So again, Arlequino can wear that damn maid outfit. But is this anything really new for the industry community? Absolutely not, because they have been weird trash and kind of strange for the entire time that Genshin has existed. Like just let people enjoy the shit that are enjoying. I'm just wanting to go to Natline, see what the hell happens over there, and enjoy myself playing the game. This is often the reason why I don't ever really interact with the community because it's just weird across the board. Everybody is kind of weird, which makes sense why people sometimes dip off to other gacha games because yeah, I, I wouldn't want to be around them either with a 10 inch pole, I'll just be honest. Some of them are cool, but not everybody. 
But yeah, that's essentially what I really wanted to say for this one. So hopefully you didn't understand and enjoy. If you did, be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification on your way out. Also follow me on socials and if you'd like to donate to the channel, go buy a cash app as well. And until then, it's Bojay, signing off. Have a blessed day.